All right, so today we are finally gonna be showcasing the five new Dragon Ball Fusions Extreme Z Awakenings on Global. And of course, I'm talking about the STR Kuliza, the Fizz Weiris, the Tech Janembu, as well as the Fizz Chao Man, and finally, the Int Celza. Now, usually in these videos, before we get into the gameplay, I like to go over the details for each unit, but there are simply too many of them here, so I'm not going to do that today. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into the GT Legendary Goku event and see what these guys can actually do. So here we go. On the first rotation, we have the Weirus, Uliza, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Uh, I'm going to be putting... Uh, I mean, Uliza's defense is not great to start the event, but... Weirus has type disadvantage, so I guess I'll put Kuliza here and just get him a super. He's starting with only 76,000 defense, but he does build defense, so he should be a lot more tanky later on. And Weirus has 132,000, but we're going to give him 11 orbs, which will bump it up to 146,000 defense. So pretty decent for Weirus. And then we got Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, which we already know what he can do. So, okay, taking a couple of normals here for, you know, like a thousand, not too bad. And first super, just over 2.5. Second super, close to 2.7. Maybe a third super. There we go. Third super, 2.8. So, if you guys don't know, the Kuliza has a built-in additional super. I think it's a medium chance or high chance. I gotta check that. But either way, it's a chance for an additional super, and then we got another super from his hidden potential. So, pretty good first turn. <laughs> pretty, pretty impressive first turn. I missed Weirus' super, but I think it was like over 3 mil as well. And uh, Kuliza, let me just make sure what his chance is. Uh, high chance, yeah, high chance. So, 50% chance of launching an additional super attack. And he also uh, is a support for Fusion or Wicked Bloodline as well. So, there you have it. Oh, by the way. Uh, all of these guys are at level 1 links. They're rainbowed, but at level 1 links. So they definitely could be even better than what you see in this video. And there's also the fact that they're not on like an optimal team. I wanted to showcase all of them at the same time, but if you do them individually on their best teams with their best linking partners, then they could also be a lot better. So keep that in mind, okay? So on this rotation, we have the Celza and the... Uh, Chao Man. Celza has 104,000 defense, which is not bad, but Chao Man is a lot better with 169,000 defense. So, pretty impressive stuff from Chao Man. In fact, I'm going to put him in that first slot, and let's see what these guys can do now. Here we go. So, normal should be double digits. There we go. And just under 2.7. And an additional 2.8. Now, additional is good, good damage, but unfortunately, he also hurts us with every. Oh my god! Yo, that was some crazy tanking. Um, anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, it's good he additional supered, but he also hurts us on each super. We lose about 10% HP, I think, with every super attack. Let me just confirm that. So I'm not making any mistakes here. Uh, we lose, yeah, 10% HP. So even though he hits pretty hard, especially because it's an attack all super. So on Super Battle Road, for example, that would be really, really good. You might have just cleared the entire field with those two supers. But uh, on an event like this, when it's single target, not as good, but still solid. Still solid for sure. Okay, so I'm a... Uh, a little bit unsure of what to do here because I want to keep all three of these guys but since Janembu and Kuliza are stackers and the Weirus isn't I guess we'll float Weirus that makes sense all right yeah let's do that okay so let's give a couple to Kuliza or sorry uh to Janembu we'll give these to Kuliza and then that's still nine orbs for the 
um, Weirus. Now, if you guys were ever concerned about not getting Weirus's full passive ever, that shouldn't really be a concern, because he gets so many orbs every turn, he changes so many orbs, that, yeah, he's always gonna have his full passive, basically. Like, it's very rare for you to not be able to get, I think, the eight orbs you need to activate everything in his passive. So, yeah, that's fine. It's not a concern. Okay, we're back here. Um, I'm gonna put the... Uh, Chao Man in that first slot once again. Now, Selza is not really the tankiest, but he gets um, some okay defense, I think, after his super. So, he's definitely more of a second slot unit compared to the Chao Man, who, you know, has better defense in slot one. Yo, we're getting a lot of additional supers from this guy. And once again, it's like kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. It really depends on the adventure on. It's not as good, I gotta say, on the uh, Legendary Goku event. Okay, this could hurt. Ooh! We lucked out there. <laughs> we really lucked out there. That's great. That That's perfect. We're good. Okay, so this run is going very efficiently. Um, I just want to quickly confirm this guy's details. Because, yeah, he does raise attack and defense on a super attack. And he also gets... Attack and defense when performing a super attack. Yeah, so I was right. He gets really good defense after he supers. Now for the Chao Man, I don't believe he has an additional chance for another super attack. Yeah, so we just got lucky. We just got lucky. That's pretty dope. Um, we will be getting an additional 300% attack for one super below 50% HP, which I really want to see at some point in the showcase. But I'm also concerned that, uh, you know, we would die if we tried to get that. So I'm, we'll see. We'll see. I can't promise it'll happen, but I'm going to try to make it happen. Now, as you can see, Janembu is up to 216,000 defense. And the Selza is already up to, or sorry, Kuliza is up to 137,000. And I don't think we really need to worry about using any items on this turn as well. So we're going to save our items until we get to most likely the, uh, what's his name? The Golden Great Ape. And for Janembu here, after he dodges, he gets guaranteed guard against all attacks. But we had type advantage anyways, so it wasn't really, you know, too big of a deal. Additional super, thank you. Thank you. All right, perfect. So we're getting a lot of additionals here. There goes the GT Goku, and now we're on the Super Saiyan 3, who uh, does a lot of damage, so I'm kind of worried about Selza on this turn. Um, I think I'm going to float the Chao Man, actually. Let's float Chao Man, let's give all these orbs to the Weirus, and... Ooh, maybe I should use an item here. Nah, no, I'm going to save it, I'm going to save it, okay. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully the super is not in the middle where uh, Selza might struggle a bit with taking that attack. There's only one attack, so chances are it's not gonna be there. But you never know. You never really know. All right, so 3.5 mil for Selza. Can we get a crit? Be nice, there we go. Okay, and no super please. No super please. Perfect. Only 84 damage, yo. Only 84 damage from the GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Wow. All right. And on this turn, I'm not concerned about these guys at all. So uh, I think I'm going to actually put the Selza. Why do I keep calling him Selza? My bad, guys. Uh, Kuliza in the first slot. And then Janembu in the middle. And there we go. All right. So just over 3 mil now for uh, Kuliza. Additional super. Beautiful. We're getting so many additionals, man. I love it. So many. One more. That's okay. That's okay. All right. And this should finish him off. Most likely. There he goes. And we're on the golden great up now. Making great time, guys. Under 10 minutes in the showcase so far. Under 10 minutes. Now, of course, the last two guys will take a long time, but I think under 25 minutes we'll be able to finish this event. So, uh, ooh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Uh, I'm going to definitely pop a Whis here. 
And even with the waste, I'm actually really worried. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, all right, well, oh crap. Oh, I messed up there. I could have given more orbs to the, uh, okay, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I could have given more orbs to the Weirus, but I misclicked. And instead we got seven, we need eight. Or is it seven to get his full passive, actually? Maybe it's seven. And maybe that wasn't too bad. Okay, either way, um... I feel like that turn could have turned out better. <laughs> but... Not a huge deal. Ooh, do we, did, did we get the 300% attack boost? I'm not really sure. Are we below 50% HP? We might be. We might be. Okay, either way, I'm gonna go like this. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna give these, I guess, to Nembu, and then that's gonna be for Lisa, and then we'll give these to Chiao Men. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Can we dodge, please? Ooh. Okay, no dodge, but good tanking nonetheless. Great tanking nonetheless. 2.9 mil for Kuliza. Additional super. Beautiful. 3.1. And a third super would be really nice. <laughs> oh yeah, we're below 50% for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, we did not crit. A crit would have been great in that situation there. Um. Well, it's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, let's give these to Selza. I'm gonna give these to Weirus. That's gonna be a good amount of healing right there. And we got the token attack, so we should be able to finish him off here. Oh. Oh, yeah, no item. I should have itemed. I mean, maybe the token attack will finish. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I just realized we fell below 50% HP. Oh crap, okay. He cannot super us this turn. He cannot super us this turn. If he does... So we fell below 50% HP, which means that we don't get the additional attack and defense plus 100%. Uh, which means that we are doing a lot less damage than we should have here. Um, additional super helps. Crit helps, yes. We need Weirus to crit as well. We really need Weirus to crit here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Yeah, I'm so nervous right now, man. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> All right, we made it. We made it. Um, that was way too close for comfort, but we did make it. So we are fine now. We're good to go now. But oh my god, that was so close. That was so close. And there he goes. Okay. Whew. Still alive, man. Two more Gokus. Two more Gokus, and then we're set. Um, this turn should be fine for us. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna keep Weirus here. Let's put all those, let's give him all those orbs right there. 137k. Uh, maybe I should have put Chiao Man there. Ah, that's fine. No big deal. And maybe I should pop something right now. I mean, with the type of advantages, there's a lot of attacks in the middle, though. Should I maybe use a Princess Snake? Should I save that for next turn? Let's save that for next turn. Let's save that for next turn. I think these guys should hold up okay. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. 108k. Kind of been worse. Kind of even worse. It's a good thing we didn't use the item though, because now um, these other guys will tank very, very good. You know, so we're not gonna die this turn, that's for sure. Gotta dodge there, nice, but these should be double digits. Very, very good. Okay, good job. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit tense here, man. I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Okay, um. Let's do this and that. Uh, I actually don't think we need to 
pop an item here either, unless he super assess like turn one, like like slot one. But it's uh, it's unlikely. So these guys should be okay here. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say we don't need to item this turn as well, but let's hope we don't. Oh, okay, we got the dodge. We got the dodge. We're fine now. As long as we get the dodge, he gets the guaranteed guard, and the guard will make him untouchable. Like, I actually want him to get supered now. Because it's not going to do any damage if he gets supered. Okay. 4.9. Additional super. Over 4 mil now. We just spoke 4 mil for the first time. Third super. Damn. Okay. Would have been nice. That would have been... I would have been clean if we got one more. <laughs> so we might not have, not actually... We might have... <laughs> What am I saying, man? We might not have to item at all um, with the with the end Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku. I can save three items for the full power Super Saiyan 4, actually, I think. I think so. I think so. I mean, we're back to full HP. So, worst thing that can happen is we get Super, take like 100k, and it's it's chill. That, that's completely fine. We're, we're, we're Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Weirdest edition. Oh. That sucked. <laughs> that really sucks. Alright, 3.8 mil for Selza. Can we get a crit? Additional. There's super. I'm going to say 150k. Or maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Alright, no problem. No problems here, man. We're all good. We're chilling. Alright. Um. So, I'm going to leave Janembu where he is. Hopefully he gets the dodge sooner than later. And... Uh, dodge. Okay, no dodge there. But he has so much defense now that, like... Super should be okay. Oh, there's the dodge. Okay, we're safe now. <laughs> back to back dodges. But either way, we're safe now. Either way, we're safe now. All right, three point seven mil. One more super. Just one super that turn. Okay. All right, and then Chao Man's gonna hurt us a bit, but he'll tank well as well. Well as well. So it's okay. Yeah, he's she. He should tank good here. He should tank very good here. 71k, alright. Um, okay, so we're just gonna continue doing our thing here. This should be back to full, or eh, somewhat close, close enough. And I'm gonna say we finish off Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And full power, we'll have three items. So, I'm feeling pretty confident in our ability to beat this event now. There was like a moment against the, the Great Ape where I was like, I don't know, man, the Golden Ape is, is pretty tough. But now that we made it past here, we're on the full power Super Saiyan 4 with three items still remaining. I'd say it's 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 pretty chill now. I think it's pretty chill now. Okay, um, well, look at that. 466k defense. Almost 300k for Uliza. Uh, maybe still needing an item. Uh, that's Papa Whis. Yeah, maybe it's too early. It was probably too early. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. But I love this team, though. I love this team, though. It's actually, like, really, really fun. It's not the best team that I've run, by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. But it's just a really fun team, guys. Uh, there's the super. Um, it's not gonna do anything. It's gonna do like 12 damage. Okay, my bad. 91. <laughs> 4.45. Additional would be nice. 4.6. Don't dodge. Thank you. One more. Ha. Okay. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Okay. You know. Vegito is doing surprisingly little damage, but I guess it's because we don't have, uh, you know, his, like, linking partners and stuff like that, so it's it's understandable. Understandable. Okay, so I'm gonna put Selza in that first slot. 
I'm uh, gonna give all these to Weiris, and then uh, 174 k defense. A little bit concerning for the Chiao Man, but you know, with the Whis active, he should hold up fine. Yeah, with Whis, he should be okay. Solid. Okay. All right, nine damage. Additional, mmm, okay, so he's gonna super Weiris. I think it's gonna be okay. 82k, alright, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Not a big deal. And I'm glad, actually, he didn't additional super, because that could have been a little rough. Okay, uh, this turn, there are quite a few attacks in the final slot, which, uh... You know, is is kind of concerning. So I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, what if Super Saiyan 4 Vegito gets supered? That would be bad news, right? That would be really bad news. I'm gonna pop a Princess Snake. I think some people will think it's unnecessary, right? Some some of you guys are probably like, yo, why why are you so using so many items, man? You don't have to. You don't have to. You're almost at full HP, but. I don't trust Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I'll be honest, I don't trust him. <laughs> so, just in case he's the one that gets supered, I'm being extra cautious. This is awesome, by the way. Oh my god, no third super? Come on, man. I need you to triple super right now. But I can't complain too much. You've been doing great, so keep doing your thing. I'm talking to my units right now. It's weird, but don't mind me, guys. Okay, I'm just trying to get through this event right now. Um, Lisa would have been able to tank okay, actually. It would, have, would not have been an issue. Um, but better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. We're so close to the end now. I can see... I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And... Ooh, wow, that is a lot of phase orbs. Okay, um, let's just give these to Selza. That's gonna be 13. Weiris, and I'll give a couple to the, uh, whatever his name is. Oh, uh, <laughs> Vegito, to the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Okay, nice, additional. Super is what I meant. That's fine, though. Super me, come on, super me. All right. So I guess he's going to super either Weiris or Vegito. Preferably Weiris, because he has more defense. Or maybe no super this turn. That would be even better. Yeah, that would be even better. Great. Awesome. Okay, Janembu. 531,000 defense. Um, I think he'll be okay. I think he's going to be okay. I'm not going to item here. I think we got this, guys. I think this is gonna do it. Oh, we got a token attack. Oh. You know what? That's not who we wanted to get token attack. Because he's gonna do no damage. <laughs> but it's okay. And we're gonna eat this super for 211k. You know, a little bit more than I was expecting, but by no means um, even close to killing us. So let's get this token attack off nicely. And then if Janembu can't finish the job, which I feel like he won't be able to just because his attack stats not very high, but Kuliza for sure will get it done for us. For sure he's going to get it done for us. And maybe Janembu will. Anyways, I was wrong. I was wrong. I disrespected Janembu. I apologize. He's good, man. He, he, he's good. Now his attack will never really impress anybody, right? Like just over 2 mil for the most part. Not great. Could be better on certain teams, you know, linked with certain... Uh, units, but on this team, you know, just around 2 mil, nothing crazy, but his defense is really what makes him very impressive, and if he had gotten a dodge before he had gotten supered, he would have taken, I'm gonna guess, like, under 50k, maybe even a couple thousand, you know, because guard is just so, it's such a game changer, okay, maybe not that much of a difference, but still, he would have taken a lot less damage. If he had been able to dodge and then guard 
He didn't get the guard, but he still, you know, took that pretty well for having no items active. And uh, out of these five, I would say the one that impresses me the most, obviously in long events, would be the Kuliza. But I can see the potential of uh, Chao Man in Super Battle Road, an extreme Super Battle Road, where his attack all super will be clearing teams pretty pretty quickly, right? And then uh, defensively, I would say Janembu is the most impressive. It's not even close, really, no question. And uh, Salza just does well, you know, from turn one, getting really good attack stat and does some good defense after he supers. And Weirus is a great support. So essentially, all five of these guys are very, very good units, and they're a lot of fun to run. I'm gonna go farm them up and get them to level 10 links so that I can actually use them at their full potential. But right now, at level one links, you can still, you can already see just how good these guys can be. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is your uh, new fusions team showcase or Dragon Ball fusions team showcase. Um, it's a really fun team, guys. It's a really, really fun team. I enjoy it a lot. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about each of these units, each of these EZAs. Um, I really don't have anything negative to say about them, you know? Like, they all do their own thing. They're all impressive in their own ways. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.